How am I travelling? Yeah, really good. Um, so obviously tomorrow's three weeks um, since I've uh, had the operation, so um, in the early stages at the moment. But um, yeah, really, really confident um, with how the sur surgery's gone and make a joke with the boys that uh, I've got 13 weeks that I'll play my next game because I want to beat Libertore's record. Um, so that's a little goal and a little bit of a joke that I make with the boys just to sort of keep me uh, fresh and, uh, and happy. It's more mental than anything, isn't it? Oh, it's pretty much all mental because uh, you can't do anything. All I'm doing in the, at the moment is in the pool. So, um, yeah, it is, it's all mental, yeah. 13 weeks, Matty, is first week of finals, I think. Um, yeah. Is that a realistic target at all? <laughs> nah, nah, it's just a joke. Don't show this to any of the boys, but nah, it's not, I don't think. Um, well, I'd love to be out playing as soon as I can, and um, the doctors and the surgeons have told me it's going to be 12 months, but obviously um, I, I believe I'll recover quickly, so hopefully I can get that to 10 months, 10 and a half months, and see how I go. So um, I keep telling Andy on, anything he can do, I can do better. So he's uh, looking at playing the next month or so. So, um, yeah, hopefully that's my goal is to beat him. You seem pretty upbeat about it all, the situation. I mean, you know, how, how difficult has it been sort of mentally to know that you've yeah, potentially got a 12 month recovery period ahead of you. Yeah, well, I'm a kid who just loves playing footy, so um, it is tough. I mean, I had some sad moments there straight afterwards when your mum and dad are in the rooms and stuff, but um, you just got to get over it. It's a team game, it's not about me, so. Um, Enjoyment is watching the boys play and seeing them win. Um, it's going to be hard seeing them play finals for this year, and um, you know I haven't played a final yet, which will be disappointing. I can't help them to achieve to achieve our ultimate goal, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. What's a daily basis for you involved now? Your just a swim and yeah, not a hell of a lot at the moment. Um, just a few little exercises I do with Duncan Callaway um, takes about 40 minutes and then a little bit of a 20 minute wade in the water, a little bit of a swim and that's pretty much all my day entails and then I just muck around and annoy most of the other boys. So you haven't lost that? The knee hasn't taken away from the fact that you're a bit of a pest around the place? Uh, no, it hasn't actually. I still muck around a fair bit. Um, I got a gag to get back text. He, uh, the night I did my, uh, the day I did my knee, I come home to my house with about six ton of wood in my driveway. So uh, I've got 12 months to plan a revenge on him. So um, yeah, stay tuned with that one. Speaking of text, I mean, he, he went over to the US obviously with his rehab. I'm not sure whether Andy did or not, but is that sort of thing that you might look to do as well? Um, look, I'm not not too sure at the moment. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what the club want me to do, but. I think if I had it my way, um, I'd want to stay here around around my teammates and uh, around my family and friends. Um, I don't think there's they can brought the ideas back, so I can still do them up in our gym. We've got world class facilities here to to use them, so I'd prefer like to stay in my own bed and my own home around my own family. So that's probably what I'd want to do. But if they want me to go, yeah, I'll definitely go. You've got so many players that have knee reconstructions or you know serious injuries that sort of um, it allows them to sort of reassess and. and take everything in, you know, whether they're taking the aspects of footy for granted and, and they return better players. Is it too early to tell, you know, how you're sort of feeling towards the game and, and with, you know, how you're going? Yeah, well, to be honest, I never ever took a day for granted playing AFL footy or even just being a part of what we've got inside these four walls. Um, best job in the world, that's why I tell everyone. Um, and we get flogged in pre-season and you get stuff written about you yeah, and you good, bad, whatever, it's still the best job on, on planet Earth. So I never took it for granted, but yeah, I mean, I, I saw the boys, they, got, they had a pretty solid session this morning and I missed that hard work, but um, yeah, I, I don't think I took it for granted, but I'm definitely going to miss it, yeah. Just adds fuel to the fire. So. Oh, exactly right, exactly right, yep. What are your thoughts on some of those two young kids that are slotted into the defence this year? Andrew? Yeah, who, who was that, sorry, Lever? Lever and Kelly and that. Oh. I mean, they've just got like, seen them. Oh, it's unbelievable. I, I think it's been well documented with um, Jake Kelly. He's just an, just an absolute animal. He, he's the first one here, the last one to leave. He just does everything right in terms of his diet and his preparation. And it's just a reward for effort with him. He's just unbelievable to see a young kid come through and pretty much show the older players how to prepare as well. So, um, and with Lever, oh, he's just an, he's an animal as well. He's just, a, just so competitive and... Yeah, I think it's not surprising for anyone within the four walls of the club to see how he's gone this year. Um, he's going to play 10 to 15 years of good footy for us and I think him and Daniel Talia, they're going to perform a pretty good duo for the next 10 years, I, I believe.
well placed at six four. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, we still got a lot of work to do, um, and Phil keeps pushing that with us. That we got a lot, lot to work on. But um, yeah, it's better than being four and six. So um, yeah, it's going to be a big second half of the year. We've got to play some good teams, starting with Hawthorne, I think, next couple of Thursday, Thursday's time. But yeah, I th I'm pretty happy with, it, with where we are at the moment. Oh, I don't know. Proofs will be in the pudding to see how we go against Hawthorne uh, the Thursday coming. But um, I think there's a lot we can improve on. I mean, our skill level needs to get a lot better. Um, but we're working tirelessly uh, to improve that. And um, if we just tidy up a few little areas like that, I think there's there's a lot of marked improvement to come. What does that game mean to boards the 25th anniversary? The 25th anniversary? Oh, it's massive, yeah. I, um, 25 years of the Crows, we've, we've existed. And, um, yeah, it's just going to be amazing. I'm, I'm not sure what the club's got planned for it all, but I'm sure it'll be an amazing night. And the 19th man will, will sure give a good, uh, loud uh, stadium at Adelaide Oval. And, um, yeah, well, the boys will be super pumped for that. So six tons of five. The captain's salary must be all right. So you, you have 12 months. So you got any anything until we get him back in? Oh, I'm not going to say anything on camera because then he'll know it's me. But um, yeah. I, Six tonne of firewood, Taylor Walker doesn't pay for anything, so I think he might have got a good deal with that. Um, yeah, but he's in a bit of trouble, I reckon. Yeah. I could do have a wood fire, but six tonne, well, six tonne, that takes, that's a lot of, that's a lot of wood. Yeah, exactly. You watch on the weekend? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was... Your initial reaction when the greatest player ever went down clutching his knee? Oh, I don't like seeing it. Um, very, 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 very sad. You sort of can, almost can tell, I, I think, with the way he twisted. And like he, like he said, it's 20 seconds of excruciating pain and then you sort of, you're numb to it. It doesn't hurt at all. Um, you can just sort of tell how he went down in a, lot, in a lot of pain and then he sort of was pretty much calm after that. And I think that's what you usually see with most knees. So probably knew straight away he'd, he'd done it. Very sad. Um, it was great to get the win as well. So, um, yeah, like he said, the greatest player of all time. And, what a career. Is that how yours happened? As soon as you landed, did you go? Yeah, I carried on like a bit of a pork chop. Um, yeah, I just, I was going to tell the doc actually to get the green pen, the morphine pen. I was in so much pain and then um, 10 seconds later, I was like, oh, I feel fine. I said to the doc, I'll just walk off now. I'm, I'm fine. And he was like, just wait for the stretcher. So um, yeah, 20 seconds of excruciating pain and then um, you feel a bit like a sook after that, to be honest. Have you watched the roof? Yeah, a hundred times. Yeah, I don't like watching it, but um, it's just good to know. It's just, a, it's weird. I would have done that 25 times a game over my whole AFL and SNFL and junior junior career. So it's just one of those things, I guess, when it wants to go, it just goes. You mentioned Andy Otten before. Is there anyone else that you sort of have spoken to, to I guess, some, to get some advice on the road ahead? Yeah, uh, Matty Suckling from um, Hawthorne. Uh, sent me a message and we've been chatting a little bit about um, how he went about it. Um, yeah, just to uh, keep mentally fresh, I think, was his way to um, sort of, how he said to me, to uh, attack it. Just to, you got your train during the week, but when you're time away from the club to really value that. So um, yeah, that's probably something that he's instilled in me. And something Tex told me as well that you really got to value your time to yourself and with your friends to really just let your hair down and um, just um, get away from footy because it can be pretty arduous in the pool and by yourself and um, yeah but in saying that I'm looking forward to the challenge my mum tells me I'm not a very patient person so 12 months of um, not doing something that I absolutely love is uh, going to be challenging but I think I'm going to be a better person out on the other side. Is there a club, is there a club in the AFL, a knees club that everyone Shares the stories together, like you know, a band of brothers. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm very new to it, but uh, I'd be open to start a club. Uh, we've got a fair few. There's a few legends in, in there. I wouldn't mind having a beer with Juddy. Um, he'd be right to uh, um, catch up with, but yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, maybe I can start that.